Today I will show you how to install Windows 10 in EFNG. To download the Windows 10 image from a Windows device, open up a browser, search for Windows 10 ISO download, open up the Microsoft website, open up the developer view by either pressing the F12 button, you can also click on the three dots on the top right side and click on more tools and click the last option called developer tools. Click on the phone icon or press Ctrl, Shift and M and click on the dimensions button. Click on the iPad Pro entry. Click on the percentage figure and choose 100%. Now reload this website by pressing the reload button or F5. Now you'll be able to download Windows 10. Scroll down to select edition. Click on the drop down menu and choose Windows 10. Click on Confirm, now select the language for your Windows ISO. Click Confirm again. You'll be able to click on the 64-bit download now. In order to install Windows 10 in EVNG, you need to create a folder for Windows on EVNG. SSH into EVNG. Make a new directory in the QEMU folder. The folder name must start with win dash. I'll call mine win dash 10 dash pro. This folder already exists on my machine, so it outputs an error. I'll open up a second shell in the downloads folder where the Windows 10 ISO file is. Use SCP to copy the ISO image onto the EFNG machine. Just copy the Windows 10 ISO into exactly the same directory that you just created. Afterwards, open the SSH connection again and go inside the Windows 10 folder. Use the list command to check if the ISO file is there. In my case, I successfully copied it. Now use the move command to rename the ISO file to cdrom.iso. List the contents again. It should only list the cdrom file now. Now I'll create a hard disk image on which Windows 10 will be installed onto. Use the QMU image tool on the EFNG machine to create the file. For Windows 10, it's 40 GB. The file must be called vidioa.qcode2. This way it will be recognized by EVNG. Once that's done, use the fix permissions command. Open up the web interface of EVNG. Click on the plus button on the top left side. Search for Windows in the template field. If the files are being recognized correctly, Windows will be available. Set CPU and RAM settings. The QEMU version must be set to 5.2.0 for best performance. I'll change the icon. Save the settings. The Windows 10 machine will appear at the top left side. Right click on the Windows 10 node and click on Start. The icon now becomes colorful when it is being powered. Click on the node and click on open link. This will open the windows of that Windows 10 machine. Choose your language and keyboard layout. Click on next and on install now. Click on I don't have a license key. Choose your Windows version and click on Next. Click on I accept the license term and on Next. Choose Custom Install Windows Only. There's a Load Driver button at the bottom left side of the window. Click on that. A new window will appear. Click on the Browse button. Open up the second floppy disk drive. Click on the last folder called Storage. 
Click on 2003 R2 and choose AMD64. Click on OK and click on Next. It will recognize the hard drive that you have created. Click on Next. Once it is done installing Windows, it will reboot. On the next reboot, it will ask you in what region you're in. Choose your keyboard layout and skip the second keyboard layout. When it wants to connect to the internet, click on the I don't have internet button on the bottom left side. Click on the continue with limited setup button. I will use the username admin for this PC. To have the password empty, just hit enter on the password prompt. Answer the privacy questions to your liking. Click on Not Now on the Cantana activation prompt. It will set up Windows 10 now. Once the device has loaded into the desktop environment, shut it down. Go back to the EVNG Web UI and choose Stop Selected. Open up the SSH session again. You can safely remove the cd-rom.iso file now. We'll save this Windows 10 image as the template for all future Windows 10 machines, so you don't have to bother with the initial setup when spinning up another Windows 10 machine. To do that, we will have to fill this command. First, we need to get the node ID. You get that by editing the Windows 10 VM. The ID is displayed in the second field. In my case, it has a node ID of 1. Now the UUID of the lab. On the left side, there is a lab details button. There you see the lab ID. Just copy that into the command. To get the pod ID, close the lab. On the EVNG homepage, open the management window. Click on user management. The pod ID is on the right side. In my case, it is zero. Open up the SSH session again and enter the command. Enter this QEMU image commit command. It will say image committed after it is done. For that to work, you need to have at least the same free space available in terms of gigabytes as the Windows file. I'll create a second lab and see if it works. Click on Add New Lab. Enter a name, save it. Click on the plus button and search for Windows again. Set all the settings. As is said before, the QEMU version must be set to 5.2.0. Save it and right click the node and select Start. Click on the node again. As you can see, it boots directly into the desktop environment without any configuration. 
If you want to connect the machine to the internet now, you'll need to shut it down first. To get internet access, click on the plus button on the top left side again. This time choose Network, choose Management Cloud Zero from the drop down menu, save it, drag it besides the Windows machine, click on the cable button and drag it onto the Windows node, right click the machine and click on Stop, start Windows again. If this comes up, just close Windows and right click the node and choose Stop and start it again. Once it is started, you can see it identify the network. Just click on the Yes button. For Ping to work, you need to enable it through the Windows Firewall. Just open up the Windows Firewall settings. Click on Inbound Rules. Look for ICMP Echo Request IPv4. Activate both rules using the Enable Rule button on the right side. Click on Outbound Rules, look for ICMP Echo Request IPv4 again. Enable both rules again. Windows can reach the internet using ping now. That's it for this tutorial. Bye.